This is the Fremont Tote, and I'm going to be showing you how to install the leather crossbody tabs with the Chicago screws here and here. And that hangs the crossbody strap on the Fremont Tote. These are the tools and materials that we'll be using. Some of these are necessary and some of these are optional. So over here we have our leather and hardware crossbody strap, leather tabs, O-rings, and, and Chicago screws. And over here we have our tools, the Milan Chicago screw tool, a seam gauge for measuring the placement of the Chicago screw holes, a marking pencil, some Loctite that's optional, a flathead screwdriver, two different ways to punch holes, a drive punch with a mallet and a cutting board or a rotary punch. And this is a 3 16 drive punch here. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my seam gauge and set it to an inch and a half. And that's gonna be so that I can find the correct placement for the holes. So I'm gonna start on this open end of the zipper here opposed to the close end. And what I want to do first is feel the lining seam and the exterior fabric seam, and I want to align them. And I actually want to feel and see which side is less bulky, because that's the side I want to start with. So these feel pretty even, and the side seams are aligning really well, so I'm just going to pick a side. And I'm going to put the seam gauge with the blue part just right at the very top. And then I'm just going to draw a line at the very end there. So what I'm doing is I need to create a crosshair mark for my hole placement there. Then I'm going to take one of my crossbody leather strap tabs and I'm going to put it so that it is flush against the side seam. And we want to be able to see our chalk line that we previously made through the hole in the tab. Then we're just going to color in that hole just like that. Now we have a placement for our Chicago screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch that hole. I'm gonna grab the cutting board, put it inside the bag, check one more time that my side seams are aligned, and take my drive punch and get that hole in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the O-ring on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Chicago screw, and one side is flat, one side has, it receives the flathead screwdriver. So this is gonna be the inside, the side with the threads. So I'm gonna put that aside, and then put that in there. Then I'm gonna put this into the bag from the exterior of the bag. And then now I'm gonna flip it around, holding the back of the screw tight pressing it up like that so that it doesn't pop out. Then don't forget your O-ring, so you're going to thread that in. Then you're going to come around to the inside of the bag with the leather and put the leather over the Chicago screw. So now I'm going to finger tighten the Chicago screw into here, but let's pause for a second and I'll show you if you want, you can put a little drop of Loctite right in there before you screw this in. So this is a light duty Loctite, and we're just gonna put a little drop in there. You don't need much. And then now I'll go ahead and screw the receiving end here of the Chicago screw. Finger tighten that. Now that's finger tightened in there, which is great. And then my O-rings in here. So now I'm gonna grab my Chicago screw tool which looks like this, and it's kind of like a set of pliers. And what that does is there's rubber here and rubber here, and that's gonna clamp around the Chicago screw. And this rubber is gonna hold this part of the Chicago screw tight so that we can access this side with a flathead screwdriver and really get that tightened down. So I'm gonna just go around the bag on both sides and squeeze this. Now what you wanna look for, cause it's like pliers, is if it's too easy to squeeze down, then you might want to tighten this here, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So mine was a little easy. So I'm just going to give it a little twist because the tighter that this clamps down on the Chicago screw, the better it's going to hold it in place so I can screw it in. Now that felt a little better there. Also, just a word of advice 
Sometimes this can pinch your hand. So just be aware when you're squeezing this that maybe you wanna come and rearrange your hand to squeeze back down here instead of having it right in here, okay? Then I'm gonna grab my flathead screwdriver and tighten this. So this is clamping the Chicago screw on this side and on this side, but it's giving me access to the flathead on the screw. Now, a lot of people think, oh, it's, it's not tight because it keeps spinning. Well, this isn't ever really gonna clamp it so that it won't spin at all, but it's gonna get really tight with this versus just trying to screw this in without clamping the back there. So that's good, that's, that's tight in there. And then I'm gonna release this like any pliers just by pushing up on that. So that's our first Chicago screw there, and that looks great. So let's go over to this side where we have a little bit more of a challenge because we have to get the leather into this hole here. What we wanna do first, I'm gonna feel in here and I wanna go to the side that doesn't have as much bulk so I can feel my seam allowance being really on this side. So then let me stop there and just tell you some considerations. Sometimes people like to set their leather tabs to opposite sides. So then if this one's set to the side with the pocket, then you would set this one to the side without the pocket. And sometimes folks like to set it to the same side. Um, it really, I've noticed you don't feel a ton of difference either way. Um, it really depends on what's comfortable to you. Um, so I like to do opposite. That's just generally how I do it. So even though I have bulk here, I'm gonna set it on this side anyways. I wanna just make sure that my side seams are aligned there. Before you go and measure this, you really need to pull this hole out. So when you first turn your bag right side out, there's a lot of bulk right here. And folks sometimes leave it collapsed in like that, but use your fingers and kinda push the fabric out and really engage your hands in there and shape this so that the top of the bag is actually the junction point between the lining and the exterior fabric. And that's gonna give you the cleanest, nicest edge there so that you can set in that leather tab. All right, so I'm aligning my side seams. I can feel the lining and the exterior fabric lined up. Then I'm gonna come in here, inch and a half and make a line at the bottom of the seam gauge. Then I'm gonna grab my tab here, align it with the side seam, and the mark I made should be visible through the hole in the tab, and then I'm gonna color that in. Now, you can also use a rotary punch to punch a hole in here, too. So, you know, just to recap, whenever you're punching a hole, you want to look at the piece of hardware that's going to go in that hole and you want to punch a hole that's the size, that's a similar size. So it looks like I need to size up to the largest barrel here, which is 3 16 Here's a pro tip. You're going to want to insert, if you're using a leather rotary punch, the bottom of the punch into the little hole here, the little gap between the zipper, the end of the zipper and the bag. Because otherwise, if you go through here, it's, you're not gonna be able to reach it. And then you can kind of just squeeze your bag in here into place. Now, before you go and squeeze this with all of your might, you just wanna double check that your side seams are aligned and that you're not grabbing any other extraneous part of your fabric and accidentally punching a hole through that. So this is a part where you really do wanna take your time and um, feel good about the hole that you're punching there. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that so I can get a hole through all layers there. Now sometimes it might look like it didn't punch all the way through, but you should always grab one of your pieces of hardware and check if you actually got your hole because look, indeed I did, and you never really wanna go in and try and punch another hole in fabric if you don't have to, because fabric will fray at that hole punch part. 
Now we're gonna take our Chicago screw that doesn't have the flathead receiver on it and put that through the leather. Then we're gonna put that into the bag from the exterior of the bag, just like that. Now, you're gonna have to thread this in here. So to make it easier on yourself, what you can do right now is temporarily screw this in here so that you can take your hands off and then you can put this, your O-ring on easily. And then you can also push this into this hole easily there. See that? So I kind of need both hands to do that, which means I need to free up the hand that's pushing the Chicago screw up, which is great and fine because I threaded this in so I know that this isn't gonna fall out and it's not gonna undo all my hard work that I've already done. So now that I've got this tab in here, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Throw a little dab of Loctite in there. Put my leather back on. And screw this in, just hand tighten it. So now that I have this finger tightened, I'm gonna grab my Chicago screw tool, come around the bag, make sure that I am on the screw there with the rubber pad. And there, I'm gonna move my hand out of the way and squeeze that until it clicks down. And then I'm gonna take my flathead and just tighten this. Okay, so that feels really good. Release that. And then we have our two O-rings on our bag ready to receive our crossbody strap. So here's our crossbody strap. And then we'll need a hammer, an anvil, and our rivets. So all I'm gonna do is thread my strap through my O-ring, put my rivet stem in, and put a cap on that. So the main thing you want to look out for with this is that you're actually, your strap isn't facing the wrong side out. And then I'm going to go ahead and hammer this from the inside of the strap in case I dent the rivet, at least it's on the inside there. And then I'm just on a hard surface here and I'm going to start with a light tap. Okay, and once it starts to kind of bite down into the leather, I'm going to hit it a couple more times harder. All right, and we have that side set really nicely. And then I'm going to follow this around and thread it into our O-ring, making sure that our strap isn't twisted and that we're going into our O-ring from the outside to the inside. And I'll grab my rivet here, put the stem through both sides of the leather and then put a cap on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down on the anvil and hammer that to set it. All right, and now our Fremont tote is finished.